thinking a little bit more deep than that. Okay. okay. If women embrace feminism and they also have to embrace consumerism. Right. Okay. Consumerism drives, for, if you look at men and men burden of performance, consumerism drives the burden of performance higher. You know, Coco asked, you know, they, right now we have to have two fam two two job families. No, we don't. What we have to do is start living within the means. Yeah, right. that's correct. Okay. That's it right there. If we start living within the means and quit worrying about having the Coco Chanel purses mm -hmm. and or whatever the hell else women think they need, and men are just as bad. I mean, they, they, they have to, you know, by driving consumerism, you you basically do away with, in an essence, individuality and individual choice. How do you do away with individuality? Is it individuality if you're all wearing Calvin Klein jeans? No, it's not. Because consumerism drives the product choice. Mm. The product choice drives how much men have to make in order to attract women. And then when they can't do that, women go out and they try to make it on their own. And how are they doing that? They're using their sexuality to drive that consumerism for themselves. Oh, absolutely. That's their only agency, really. Right. So why is feminism so successful? Because we've allowed them to tell us that having things are more important than having relationships. Uh -huh. It comes down just to that right there. Yeah.